who wants to go through some oral pathology case study type questions. So this is perfect if you're preparing for the board exam. In the Board Exam Prep Academy, we go through case studies and mock exams every single week because I find going through those helps students the most. And I've been teaching since 2005 and it's just a lot of fun too. I enjoy preparing them and students really enjoy learning from them. So let me just share my screen here, you guys. This is a sneak peek inside our oral pathology class. And this is one of our case study um, PowerPoints that we do have. We have several, here is just one of them. I'm actually gonna start on the bottom and I'm going to just um, go over a few questions with you, okay? So are you guys ready? Let's see if you get the answers right. Okay. So a 22-year-old female presents with erosion of the lingual surfaces of her teeth and frequent tooth sensitivity. She admits to a history of binge eating and purging episodes. Which of the following conditions is most likely associated with these findings? Feel free to pause the video if you need to think about these questions on your own. Typically, when we're in our board exam prep class, I give students a minute or two to think about the answers, and then I talk about the answers afterwards on the next slide. So the answers are, the possible answers are A, dental caries, B, amelogenesis imperfecta, C, enamel hypoplasia, or D, dental erosion. So what do you think? Look at the keywords here. I'm going to help you and show you. So the female patient presents with erosion on the lingual surfaces. How do you get erosion? Think about that. And then she also admits to a history of binge eating and purging. So what does binge eating and purging mean? And then what can this do to your teeth? Okay. And sorry, I just realized you can't see the other answer. Um, possible answer. Okay. So going over now. So the right answer is dental erosion. And the rationale for this is the presence of erosion of the lingual surfaces of the teeth, tooth sensitivity, and a history of binge eating and purging episodes is highly suggestive of dental erosion. Um, if this is on the teeth often with those acids from the episodes of purging, this can lead to enamel erosion. So same thing. The other options listed may present with different clinical features or have alternative etiologies. So, and I'm going to explain these a little bit to you. So dental caries, I mean, is just different. It doesn't have to do with erosion. You can get a cavity due to erosion, but this isn't what the question's asking. Amelogenesis imperfecta is more on development and so is enamel hypoplasia. Um, amelogenesis imperfecta and even enamel hypoplasia could look like dental erosion a little bit, but they're different. So how did you guys do on that question? So far so good. Let's go over another one. A seven-year-old male patient presents with multiple small white curd-like patches on the buccal mucosa, tongue, and palate. The patient has no systemic symptoms. Which of the following conditions is most likely associated with these findings? Would you say oral candidiasis, oral leukoplakia, oral lichen planus, or oral hairy leukoplakia? Are you confused yet? Let's go through the answer here. So oral candidiasis is the correct answer. And the rationale is the presence of multiple small white curd-like patches on the buccal mucosa, tongue, and palate with no systemic conditions, or um, sorry, no systemic symptoms is highly suggestive of oral candidiasis. It is a common fungal infection seen in children, especially those with compromised immune systems or those who have been on antibiotics. All the other options are slightly different. And do you guys know why? So I always suggest when you're going through these types of questions, look at the other possible answers too. For example, do you know what oral leukoplakia is? If for some reason you didn't, you should go back to your oral pathology textbook or notes and then study that. What about lichen planus? Do you remember what that looks like? So as you're going through these mock exam questions, it's also such a good idea to go back if you don't understand something. And that's the nice thing about the Board Exam Prep Academy is that we go through case studies every single week, but also lectures. So I teach an oral pathology lecture first, and then we go through mock exams and case studies. And if you're in our members only Facebook group, you get multiple choice, more questions, more case studies every single week as well inside the Facebook group. So you're constantly learning, you're constantly thinking about the board exam because I want you guys to be as confident 
confident as possible when you take that board exam. So I hope this helped. I hope to see you inside the Board Exam Prep Academy. If you want more mock exam questions like this, I do everything live. If you don't have a chance to look at the live classes, everything is pre-recorded. So, or sorry, everything's recorded. So you don't have to worry about missing anything. I teach dental hygiene students and dental assisting students. So have fun, you guys. Happy studying. And if you want more case studies, you definitely want to be inside the Board Exam Prep Academy. Everything is at dentalL.com. So have a look. Bye for now, you guys. Thank you for watching.